Like, why are there always people in leadership that don't need to be in leadership? Like, doesn't First Timothy talk about how a bishop should be perfect? He ain't lying. I mean, I don't think Paul or Timothy or whoever wrote that, they were lying when they said that. I don't think it was some kind of inside joke. So why do they always put people in these churches, whether it be part of the choir or part of the administration or part of the pastoral, pastoral team? That's how you know your church is a business. Y'all need to get your lives together because Christ is coming. And he ain't going to be like, wow, you really summed up your numbers excellently last month. And now <laughs> the men's group is just, they're going out for ice cream next week and they're watching football. And, you know, we're just, we're just going to watch some football, guys. And we're just going to talk about Jesus, what Jesus is doing in our lives. It's like, no, you actually need to stop treating your church like a business. And you need to get right with the Father. Because, you know, he went into the temple and those people that were selling out the temple, he just whacked them all out. So that's what's going to happen with a lot of these churches. He's going to whack all these people out who these people thought were righteous. And they're going to be like, what happened to Pastor Dan? Where did Pastor Dan go? Pastor Dan was selling kids on the side. That's what Pastor Dan was doing. But sure, he was making those numbers add up. Good job, Pastor Dan. Now you get to spend eternity in hell because you didn't do what you were supposed to do, which was guide the sheep. So anyway, I'm so sorry if that offends you. I'm so judgmental because you don't read your Bible and know that we're supposed to judge righteously. And if the church was judging righteously, then Pastor Dan would have been called out and found out and kicked out for selling kids on the side. But because they, you're not supposed to judge. Who are you to judge? You're not perfect. Pastor Dan has stole a couple of kids from Mexico and sold them to some politician. So this is the problem with vanity. Because you go and you look at the church and everything is about appearance. There's such a huge facade in the modern Christian church that is so about business and one foot in the world and, and certain appearances and when somebody like legit walks into the church they can smell that they can smell it they know they're doing wrong the first thing they're going to do is, is uh <laughs> they're going to look at you in a certain way they, they possibly uh will say some a snide mark or two because that's happened to me um and then they're going to find a way to get you out of there because they know they're doing some stuff that they shouldn't be doing that's that kundalini spirit so we need to stop looking at appearance just because it looks shiny and bright and new and clean and pretty doesn't mean that it's of the father and it's not that the father doesn't have those things he does but at the end of the day that doesn't uh, equate godliness and even the pharisees they were called whitewashed tombs full of dead man's bones they looked it on the outside they cleaned the outside of the cup but they didn't clean the inside of the cup and so yeshua had to uh rebuke them on that talk to you later bye